Ayodeji Richard Makun, also known by his stage name AY, is a Nigerian actor, stand up comedian, writer, and a producer. He directs and acts in one of Nigerian popular sitcom AY script and also hosts one of African largest comedy shows, AY Life. He made a UN Peace Ambassador in 2009 after winning six awards in 2008. He is the CEO of Corporate World Entertainment Nigeria. L.Y. made a huge recognition in Hollywood after producing his first movie in 2015, 30 Days in Atlanta. 2016, a trip to Jamaica. 2017, 10 Days in Sun City. 2018, Merry Men. And 2019, Merry Men 2. L.Y. is considered as an achiever of various heights, even as he continually produced blockbuster movies continually. Olutoyin Abraham, aka Yairi, is a Nigerian film actress, filmmaker, director, and producer. She was born on September 5, 1980, in Aochi, Edo State. She began her acting career in 2003 when she starred in the movie Dube Dubembo, produced by Bookie Wright. Tony is happily married to Kola Walia Jeremy and are blessed with a child. She is one of the biggest brands in the Nigerian movie industry and has received significant awards and nominations for her outstanding performances and contributions in the industry. She recently won African Magic Viewers Choice Award. She is known of her comic roles in films, especially with her self-produced blockbuster movies such as Alakada, Alakada Reloaded, The Ghost and the Child, Seven Updates, and others. She also awaits the newly produced blockbuster movie Fate of Alakada, which will also be premiered this month and will be in the cinema from April 3rd. She had also featured in blockbuster movies such as Isue, Akun, The Wives on Strike, The Revolution, and others. She is the CEO of Cove Slimming Tea by Joey, Body Talk by Joey, and also she officially launched our urban medicine business in October 2019. Joey is considered as an achiever as her remarkable achievements cannot be ignored in the Hollywood industry and the nation at large. You have probably heard of Bella Ninja, a media tech brand known for entertainment and lifestyle content. I would like to tell you how it was birthed by an outstanding achiever who found fun in observing the improvement in fashion, entertainment and business. This is Uche Pedro, the founder and CEO of Bella Naija, who was born on 26th of July 1984 and married to Olabo de Pedro and are blessed with a set of twins. She felt it would be nice to showcase the improvement to the world. She started it as an hobby as she was scanning magazines, articles, pictures and interviews and posting. Little did she know that she was about to change the face of fashion and entertainment in Nigeria. She gave up her job to follow her passion and make a change. Bella Naija is now in Nigeria's trending fashion and celebrity blog and has inspired young Nigerians into the blogging industry. She had received awards and nominations. She was recently listed by Forbes African as Africans 50 most powerful women. Find your hobby, find your love and find fun in what you are doing. David Adedeji Adeleke, who is better known as David Doe, is an American-born Nigerian singer, songwriter, and record producer. He was born on November 21, 1992. At 16, he moved to Alabama, U.S. to study business administration at Oakwood University. David bought musical equipment while at Oakwood and started making beats and later dropped out of school. He later enrolled at Babcock University and graduated with a degree in music. He is now an award-winning singer and he is the founder of Davido Music Worldwide, DMW. His father is a business magnate and a billionaire. Unlike David, most great people's children would rather stay in the comfort zone of their family business. If you want to exceed your parents' achievements, don't ever step on a great man's shoe. You have to do better and different than what they have done. That is how to reign in life.
Teniola and Niniola Pata are siblings and are celebrities enjoying all their acclaimed fame and wealth that music offers. But do you even know about their background? Let me tell you a little about it. Their father was the third Marine Command during the ex-president General Lushe Gombasonjo regime. He was very courageous that he confronted armed robbers and made sure the area was a safe place. But unfortunately, he was murdered by the unknown gunman on January 8, 1995. His death created a huge vacuum in his immediate environment of his solo Lagos. The backbone of the family was obviously bent. But those children never allowed their future to be bent. They never allowed their background to keep their backs on the ground. You can kill a man, but you can never kill a generation. Don't ever allow your background to affect the future. You might not be able to correct your past, but you can always create the future. Aliko Dangote was born on the 10th of April 1957. He is a Nigerian businessman and philanthropist who is the founder and chairman of Dangote Group. He is the richest man in Africa. He has three daughters and one adopted son. And he collaborated with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to fight polio and other issues. He is a dedicated philanthropist because he also gave $1.25 billion to the Alinko Dangote Foundation for the Health, Education and Economic Empowerment. Alinko's interest in business started during his primary school days and he ultimately believed Nigerians can help the Nigeria by bringing back their money into the country, investing in the country, and putting our heads together and work to make a better nation. And that is a great way to build this nation. Pastor Paul Adifarasi is a Christian minister and a televangelist. He is the founder of the House on the Rock Church's Home and Abroad. He is married to Pastor Mrs. Ifai Adifarasi and they are blessed with three children. He hosts the arguably largest gospel concert in Africa, The Experience Year. He studied architecture at the University of Miami and practiced in Florida before returning to Nigeria. Also, he studied at the International Bible Institute of London where he received a diploma in Christian ministry. He has written, authored, and self-published over 20 motivational Christian mini books and multimedia resources. He is also the founder of the Petra Coalition through which he mentors thousands of pastors and their churches and provides covenant covering for them. True leaders produce leaders, not followers. Miss World 2001 Miss Nigeria. How much do you know at Bani Darego, the very first indigenous African to claim Miss World? Let's go. At Bani Darego was born in Lagos in 1982. As a teenager, Darego longed to be a model. In 2001, Darego was crowned most beautiful girl in Nigeria. A few months later, she was a contestant as Miss Universe. Darego's victory was wildly welcomed in her home country and her one year to know she chose to become a patron of a breast cancer awareness program and dedicated her crown to her mother. She also devoted time during her Miss World year to an anti-malaria campaign. She saved many lives and impacted our world. In whatever achievement you make, ensure you save lives and make impact. Welcome to this month's brain week. You can see my mood. I am not happy with what is going on in this country. And that is why the achievers of this month is in honor of the soldiers, the fighters, the true patriots of this nation who died on the 20th of October 2020 during the peaceful protest at Lake Togate. They were murdered. They died singing the national anthem. They died raising the Nigerian flag. They died fighting for the country. Your names remain in our heart. We will never forget your true patriotic actions. We will never forget what you did for this nation. You remain the true leaders, the true patriots, the real MVPs of this nation. The Nigerian youth of this generation and the next will never 